footer menu li hover so basically whenever you are hovering over something this this pretty pretty much means drop up menu li hover means what appears on your hover and of course we know that in you know normal layman's terms means drop up menu so in your drop up menus what do you want to style well we want to style the links which are a now the color of these by default are aaa aaa alcohols anonymous what's that called alcoholics anonymous oh i guess it is just aa i thought it was triple a but i guess that's a car company anyways Hey, Bucky, you're getting off track here. Style links. So this is gray. That makes the links gray by default. Now, how do you change the color whenever you hover over your links to white? Well, what you want to do is you want to add a hover. That means whenever you hover over links, just make them white. Simple enough. Very easy crap going on here. So now what we need to do, and this is kind of the, one of the last things before we start styling the good stuff, is I want to show you guys how to style these special links, which are, I call them header links, because as you can see, we have like, we have stream messages, which is ba basically the main category, and then under we have each of the regular links. Pictures is a header link, so basically this messages, pictures, information, friends and stream link that's what we're going to be styling so move this biatch up all right so let's put header links stream messages etc etc all right so how do we style the header links well, I'm so glad you asked. It's actually very easy. Actually, I'm going to steal a little bit up here. Just a little bit. Not too much. It's okay. All right. So the first thing we want to do is, remember, we're styling links in the drop-up menu. So this is how you do that. However, whenever the links have a special class called header links, we want to do something a little bit different. So whenever we have a link and we give it the class header class, this is what it's going to look like. Font size is 14 pixels it's going to be a little bit bigger because it is the heading text decoration is underline and I like this because whenever you have an underline that separates this it's like a little line that separates the regular links from the header links because you know the header link is better and it can't be involved with those dirty little regular links sorry getting kind of off track here color cc 0000, zero, zero, zero. I know I say O oh sometimes, but it's actually zero. And for the margin top, I'm just gonna set it at 10 pixels. Now, if you didn't have this, then this link right here would butt up against this and it would look like one big list. So make sure you give it a margin top because it separates each section, like the information section, picture section, messages section, tomato, tomato, whatever. So margin left is also going to be 10 pixels. Now, the only other thing we have to do for this is add a hover property. And actually, I can just copy this. So, of course, we want something to happen. We want these links to change basically to white whenever you hover over them. So, how do you do that? So glad you asked. It's actually very simple. Add a hover property. Boom. You guys are going to be pros by the end of these tutorials. So, the only thing that you want to change is color change that to white. Now you also want to change your cursor to a pointer. Now the reason that you want to do this is for some reason whenever I was hovering over these I think that I don't I, I really don't know why um my cursor wasn't changing into a finger. So look at my cursor right now. You see how it's a pointer and then when I hover over these links it changes to um a cur hold on getting off track here. This is a pointer or this is like default and then it changes to the finger okay well anyways it wasn't doing that whenever I was hovering over these links so you need to change cursor pointer and if you guys didn't even know that you can manually change your cursor then this is how you do that and by the way this is a really uh, dumb trick if you're working on like someone's web page and you hate them you can actually um, change the cursor 
to a loading sign. So it looks like your mouse is like waiting for something like a document to load or the page to finish loading. And then they'll just sit there and even though the page would be loaded, they're, they'll they look at their cursor and think that something's still loading. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing that in serious web development, but if you hate your friend and you want to mess around with them, that's how you do it. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and in the next tutorial, well, I'll save it for then, but it's going to be sweet. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.